Hey, boys and girls. Today we are going to compare fractions with like numerators. So let's first compare one fourth and the fraction one sixth. Okay, so remember um, the top number is called our numerator, so we want to refer to it as a numerator, and the bottom number is the denominator. So the denominator, if I have one fourth, then what I want to do is break it into fourths. So that's what the denominator stands for. I'm breaking it into fourths, all right? And if I want one fourth, then I would shade in one fourth of that. Now I want you to think about before I move ahead, would one fourth be greater than or less than one sixth? All right, think of this as your favorite pizza or a favorite piece of cake or, you know, a cake. Um, think about, would you rather have one fourth of a slice or one sixth? Okay, so that's what one fourth would look like. Let's look at another one. Let's look at the one sixth. If I break it into six parts to represent six, and I'm only going to take one sixth of that. Now, which fraction is uh, more? Which fraction is greater, one fourth or one sixth? You're correct, one fourth is bigger. So one fourth is greater than one six, okay? So if the numerators are the same, then we look at our denominators. And based on the denominator, we can see, or we're thinking, we're gonna look at another example in just a minute, that the fewer parts we break it into, the larger the size. Because four is broken into fewer parts, and I look at one fourth and it's bigger, then over here where I broke it into six parts and I'm looking at one six. So let's try another one. All right, remember, I want you to think of it as your favorite pizza or your favorite cake. So let's compare the fractions two tenths and two eighths. All right, think about which one do you think is greater, you know, is it is two tenths greater than two eighths? Is it less than or are they equal? They could be equal. All right, so let's take tenths and I'm going to break it into 10 parts here. Okay, and then let's take eighths and I'm going to break this into eight parts because remember our denominator tells us the size of the parts. So two tenths, I'm going to represent that here. I'm going to start here at the top and then I'm going to come over here and represent two eighths. Okay, now look at those and see which one do you think is larger, two tenths or two eighths? Is two tenths greater than, is two tenths greater than two eighths, or is two tenths less than two eighths? And you are correct, two tenths is less than, less than, oops, didn't stay. Two tenths is less than two eighths, okay? Because if I see here, this basically, gets all the way to almost three o'clock from 12 to three o'clock, right? And this does not make it, three o'clock would be about right there. So you can see that two eighths is larger or two tenths is smaller than two eighths. Two eighths is greater than two tenths. So that idea again of our numerators are the same, but then we have to look when they are the same, we look at our denominators, okay? So a whole, and remember we need these holes to be the same size, I can't make if I were to come over here and think of this as a small pizza and this is a large pizza and I blew it up that big, well, then I can't compare. Remember, our sizes have to be um, the same to compare. OK, so keep that in mind. Sizes have to be comp compared. I can't compare a small pizza to a large pizza. Totally different sizes. I can only compare um, the sizes if they're the same. So if the numerators are the same, then I look to my denominators. The more pieces that it's broken into, like over here, I have eight. Over here, I have ten. You can see by the time I break it into 10 parts, those pieces get smaller and smaller, okay? So keep that in mind. You're gonna practice some on your own, um, comparing fractions with like uh, numerators. And use this app. You've seen me kind of play around with it and use it to help me compare, and I want you to do the same. I wish you the best of luck.